Hi, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Rainbow Ange. And this is day five of my 12 cast-ons of Christmas adventure. Thank you for joining me again today. Today's cast-on is going to be inspired somewhat by the movies that we've been watching the last few days. We have recently re-watched all three of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and of course it brought to mind my trip to New Zealand back in March of this year and I came back from New Zealand with some beautiful yarn and so far I've only knit one project with that yarn so I thought I would cast on a new project from some of my beautiful New Zealand yarn. My New Zealand projects live in a project bag that I made from a piece of fabric that I brought back from my travels I picked this up at a lovely shop in Arrowtown um, and it's kind of a stylized Tui bird which is um, a bird that we encountered in New Zealand. It has a very distinctive call but it's quite shy. Um, I did manage to spot one in my sister-in-law's garden at the very end of our trip but it's also a nice fun brightly coloured bag so perfect for bringing a little bit of cheer in the midst of winter. Now, I brought back some beautiful yarns from New Zealand, one of which was this lovely yarn, um, a Murray DK, which is 75% 70, pure New Zealand merino and 25% possums. Now, possum is a pest in New Zealand, but their fur is very warm. James um, visited New Zealand um, a few years ago now um, to visit his sister and he came back with a pair of possum gloves that he says are the loveliest toastiest gloves so um, I had to try some of this possum yarn so I picked up uh, a few skeins of this Amuri yarn and it's the, the colour that I picked is this gorgeous gorgeous green colour and it has sort of like shots of deep grey in it so Sorry, the light's pretty bad today. It's another really grey and dreary day here. Um, anyway, this is shade 2025. It doesn't have a colourway name. And I actually finished a cowl. I bought three skeins of this yarn um, to make a particular cowl pattern because um, I was trying to buy yarn um, either in sort of kit form or with something in mind. And earlier this year, I made this beautiful cowl which I don't think I've ever actually shown off in any of my videos, so I should possibly talk about that a little bit more. Uh, but it's so gorgeous and snuggly. Uh, let's just pop that on. Looks a bit crazy over the top of my void shawl, but um, I decided to make my cowl um, shorter than the pattern required, which meant that I had almost a whole ball, and I've also got a few scraps left of this yarn. And I thought actually I could make a pair of fingerless mitts to go with the cowl. Let me just take that off. <laughs> oh, I love knitting this project and I haven't worn it yet because it's just been tucked away uh, in the bag waiting for the matching mitts. Well, I say matching, I'm not going to use this textured pattern on the mittens. I found another um, pattern that I'll be knitting um, and they're called the Granby mitts. Um, I don't have a very good picture. I did print this out, but my printer at home is not particularly good. Um, I don't have any colour ink at the moment. So um, here's a picture of the Granby mitts. Uh, they're just very simple, but they've got some nice sort of textured um, panels on the mitts. So um, yeah, I've been wanting to make these for ages. And I just haven't got around to casting them on. And of course, that's the whole idea of my crazy cast on rampage um, is to get things on the needles that have wanted to be on there for a little while uh, so yeah this is today's plan and this should be a fairly quick project I think um, so I have no idea what we're up to today um, James is still in bed it's about 11 o'clock I want to say in the morning um, I imagine we'll pop out and pick up some food for dinner at some point 
um, but other than that, given the weather's not very nice, I reckon it'll be a cosy day in. So um, with any luck, I should make some reasonable progress on at least the first of the mitts. So yeah, I shall be back shortly to let you know how I actually got on. update on my cast on yesterday and I don't think I actually mentioned that the Granby mitts are a pattern by Knox Mountain Knit Co um, designed by Sasha McDonnell um, so I forgot to say that yesterday I believe but I am absolutely thrilled to say I have a finished object look at those those are my grand bean mitts or oh, the light in here I switched positions I was sat in the place where I have been recording and I had crazy um, ghost face going on so I'm sitting on the floor which is where I often record my longer videos and the light here is really good it's showing up the color really nicely so as you can see, these mitts have got a nice texture panel down the front and then they're just plain on the back. I cheated a little bit in that I've worked for about an hour on them this morning just to get them finished. I stayed up until I had just one pattern repeat and the ribbing and the thumb left to do on the second mitt and my eyes were just going so I couldn't. I couldn't get them all finished yesterday but uh, yeah as I say I cheated somewhat in that I've worked on them for about an hour this morning this lovely Amuri yarn is just so cozy and warm there's the label just as a reminder um, so I think we're gonna go out for a little bit of a walk later and it's a bit misly today a bit grey so I am going to be looking forward to wearing these along with my Amuri cow, um, which has a different texture on, but I think they look lovely together. Uh, this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. I purchased it quite a while ago with the aim of knitting these mitts from this yarn to go with this cow, and I just never got round to casting them on. The only issue and um, it's nothing to do with pattern, it's a knit issue. I decided to knit these on double points and double points are not my favorite. I often do magic loop for working in the round, uh, but I am running out of four millimeter needles. A lot of the projects I've been casting on require four millimeters and I've still got a couple more to come. So I didn't want to tie up a set of my four millimeter needles on a small project like this so I knit them on DPNs and that does mean that down the palms on both of these I do have a bit of a ladder which I often get with DPNs. I do get a slight ladder on Magic Loop but not as bad as when I'm working with DPNs. The other ladders are hidden somewhat so the beginning of the round was here and then my other change of uh, needle was here so they're sort of on the sides so you don't really get to see those I mean you can definitely see that one if I turn my hand but you know aesthetically from the front um, and the back you don't get to see those it's just these ones I haven't blocked these yet so um, there is a chance or there's a definite chance that that will fade slightly and I think over time it will definitely disappear but it's quite noticeable at the moment uh, yeah, so I haven't blocked these yet. They're, they fit really nicely. Um, I didn't gauge swatch. However, I have discovered that for majority of um, patterns, I tend to knit a bit looser than the gauge recommended. So I decided to knit a small to medium. I have fairly big hands. Uh, usually I would go for the large, but I decided to go for the small to medium and they're fitting really, really nicely. So yeah, it's really nice to have one of my 12 cast-ons on and off the needles in a day. 
um, Anita, who is Gargarnets, was asking me how I cope with so many projects on the needles and I figured out that with my current whips plus my 12 cast-ons and a couple of languishing blanket whips I'd have 30 projects by the end of this 12 cast-on madness um, but I'm only going to have 29 so no need to panic Anita <laughs> So yeah, that is it for the Granby mitts. I can highly recommend these pa this pattern. Um, and um, I used, I weighed the first mitt um, and it took 18 grams of yarn. So <clears throat> less than 40 grams to make a nice pair of double knit mitts. I have got uh, this left over from the main ball. And then I have a couple of other little nuggets I did use these I think I showed these in the video yesterday I did use these when it came to knitting the thumbs um because you there's a thumb gusset so you put the um thumb stitches on the waist yarn and then knit up uh, so I thought that rather than uh, use extra from that main ball it would be a good opportunity to knit through one of these balls so um that was a good way to use up some of the little bits and pieces extra that I had this does mean that my New Zealand project bag is now empty, uh, so I didn't have plans to cast on uh, another New Zealand project, but um, I still have yarn for, I think, three, maybe four other projects that I brought back from New Zealand, so we'll see, we'll see. I might squeeze another one on um, during my 12 cast on's madness, so it would be a shame for this project bag to be sat empty, wouldn't it? Anyway, that is it for the Granby mitts and I am now off to pick a project for today's cast on and I think I know exactly what I want to cast on today. So hopefully you will pop back tomorrow and find out what that project is. Until then, bye for now. Mm -hmm.